Well, I know everybody, including me, wishes this was going faster, but we have to go at the speed that we can go, and I'm only one guy. Here are a couple of coils we were using to um, look for interesting resonances in what turned out to be a very too low frequency band, at least according to the best extrapolations of the math I can get. And here's one that, from extrapolating Dr. Marley's work, says should be about right on. Uh, we're using this old tube type general radio oscillator, which is still good. Those things are great. Uh, to find out that I've managed to get the resonance right about where I want it, which is about 6.9 megahertz, the way uh, we're looking at it. This is for the uh, periodically uh, oscillating plasma sphere mode. Um, we'll probably drive that like a Pi network uh, using the, this stack of red capacitors down here. Uh, but you never know, maybe I'll rewind this thing, which was the primary for that coil, which now has way too many turns on it. They're not too hard to rewind here on my lathe. And I'm using the scope down there to uh, see the uh, when I hit resonance. This is not a very high Q coil, as most people who know anything about RF will obviously know, because it's got way too long of a length to diameter ratio. It was originally an RF choke and a big ham transmitter. But that's okay, because we're almost certainly not going to hit the right frequency on the first go, and the plasma itself will have some reactance, and we don't even know whether it's going to be capacitive or inductance. So, we try another thing. It takes a few days every time we do this to, to get it characterized. We learn something, and then we move on. Enjoy, people.